local family opened up their front door to let their own dog out. The next thing they knew, their dog, their beloved pet, was being mauled by their neighbor's dog right there on their front lawn. And now's Jason Hackett live for us at Animal Care and Control in Palm Beach County to tell us what this family is so frustrated about tonight. Jason? Well, Shannon, this Belglade family is frustrated because they say without treatment, their dog may very well die. And they were told, according to the law, that some of this may very well be their own fault. What's Loki's time? Elijah Smith says his Shih Tzu Loki is more than just another dog. He's literally a member of our family. On Tuesday, Smith's daughter brought Loki outside to relieve himself. As he's running out the door, my daughter noticed that there were three pit bulls in the yard uh, from one of our neighbors. Smith says the dogs were off their leash and their owner was standing just down the street. Suddenly, he says the situation became violent. He's sniffing all the dogs and then all of a sudden, simultaneously, all three of the pit bulls just attacked Loki. Smith was able to pull his dog away, but he says the attack not only left Loki injured, but also sent his wife to the hospital after a pit bull's bite left her with an infection. When deputies showed up to investigate, he got somewhat of a shock. He says he was told the law wasn't on his side. We were the ones literally at fault because our dog, even though on private property, was not on the leash. Today, our cameras were on hand as those pit bull were removed from the home. Elijah says he's relieved, but it doesn't change the fact that his dog needs help. He says the treatment Loki needs to clean his wounds will cost hundreds. Now he's worried that his family will never be the same. Now that friendly little innocent dog has got to be afraid of other dogs because of the negligence of a bad pet owner. Now, I just walked into Animal Care and Control just a few minutes ago. They tell me they're still gathering facts on this case and they're not ready to comment as of yet. Meanwhile, Smith says a local vet has stepped up to help Loki with some of the medicine that he needs, but the little dog still has a long way to go to recovery. We're live tonight in Palm Beach County. Jason Hackett for the Now South Florida.